Hello class! How's your day? I hope you are doing good. By the way, Sir Noel is here as your virtual teacher to clarify the lessons we have in business mathematics. The week 5 topic is all about trade discount and discount series. For this lesson, we'll be having examples on how to solve for single trade discount and the discount series. What is a trade discount? When a supplier gives his customers, like business market or reseller, special discount to grant them a small room for profit, it is referred to as trade discount. We have two types of trade discount, the single trade discount and the discount series. For this video lesson, we'll be focusing on cash discount, which is a single trade discount, and the discount series. Let us begin with the cash discount. To encourage prompt payment, many manufacturers and wholesalers allow buyers to take a cash discount, a reduction of the amount due on an invoice. The cash discount is a specified percentage of the price of the goods. Customers who pay their bills within a certain time receive a cash discount. Cash discount is the discount that reduces the amount to be paid and is based on the original amount of the invoice, the discount rate, and the timing of the payment or payments. This is an example of a credit term. It is read as 510, 230, net 60. The 510 means a 5% cash discount rate may be applied if the bill is paid within 10 days of the invoice date. The 230 means a 2% cash discount is allowed if the bill is paid during the 11th through 59th days. The net 60 means that the full amount or net amount or of the bill is due within 60 days. After the 60th day, the bill is overdue and the buyer may have to pay interest charges or late fees. Let us have our example number one. An invoice for 752 and 84 pesos dated March 25 terms 510, 230, and 60 is to be paid on April 20. What is the amount to be paid to settle the account? We need to find out first the number of days from the date of invoice to the date of payment. How many days are there from March 25 to April 20? Let us compute first for the month of March. Since March has 31 days, 31 minus 25 is 6 days. We have 6 days passed for the month of March. For the month of April, we have 20 days passed since the day of payment is on April 20. The total number of days from the date of invoice to the date of payment is 6 plus 20 equals 26 days. Question, is there a discount? Yes, the term 510, 230, net 60, we will be considering 2% cash discount on this purchase. Therefore, 100% minus 2% is equal to 98%. 752 and 84 cents multiplied by 0.98 or 98% is equal to 737 and 78 cents. This is the amount to be paid to settle the account. Next, we have the discount series. Sometimes, a manufacturer wants to promote a particular item or encourage additional business from a buyer. Also, buyers may be entitled to additional discounts as a result of buying large quantities. In such cases, the manufacturer may offer additional discounts that are deducted 
one after another from the original price. Such discounts are called a trade discount series, chain discounts or successive discounts. An example of a discount series is 20, 10, 5 discount rates. That is, a discount of 20% is allowed on the selling price, a discount of 10% is allowed on the amount that was left after the first discount, and a discount of 5% is allowed on the amount that was left after the second discount. It does not mean a total discount of 35% is allowed on the original selling price. We can apply another quicker complement and alternative method. In person form, the complement of the net decimal equivalent is the single discount equivalent. The formula is 1 minus 1 minus x sub 1 multiply by 1 minus x sub 2 multiply by 1 minus x sub 3. x is the percent discount in the discount series. To further illustrate this, let us have this example. Ethan Thomas found an oval mat cutter that he wants to purchase and use in framing pictures. Its original price is 1500 and has a trade discount series of 30 20 10 What is the single discount equivalent? Use the single discount equivalent to find the trade discount and the new selling price. The formula is 1 minus 1 minus x sub 1 multiply by 1 minus x sub 2 multiply by 1 minus x sub 3. Since the discount term is 30, 20, 10, x sub 1 is 30%, x sub 2 is 20%, x sub 3 is 10%. To apply this, 1 minus 1 minus 30% multiply by 1 minus 20% multiply by 1 minus 10%. Let's continue. 1 minus 70% multiply by 80% multiply by 90%. We need to compute now the net decimal equivalent. Multiply first 70%, 80%, and 90%. Subtract the net decimal equivalent from 1 to find the single discount equivalent. We have 1 minus 0 0.504 equals 0.496. Thus, the single discount equivalent for the trade discount series of 30, 20, 10 is 0.496 or 49.6. How much now is the trade discount? To get the trade discount, we need to multiply the single discount equivalent we have computed a while back and its original price. The single discount equivalent is 0.496 multiplied by the original price of 1,500. The trade discount for this transaction is 744 pesos. Now, how much is the new selling price? We can compute the new selling price by getting the difference of the original price and the discount. 1,500 is the original price minus the discount of 744. The new selling price now is 756. I hope this video will help you in analyzing and answering your modified assessment. Happy learning!